because it's kind of preempting one of the questions I was going to ask, you know, sort of, because the, the situation you've described there, yeah. um, I mean, you wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy to live through it. Yeah. But as, say, you know, from a conceptual <coughs> point of view as a writer of fiction, mm. kind of, you know, people would pay to take a tablet to give you all that experience because, yeah. you know, you don't have to imagine murder, you don't have to imagine, you know, sort of heartfelt conversations. And so mm. there's so much life experience that you've had. Yeah. How, how do you kind of channel that next? Okay. Um, well, once, my la once the trilogy of my life story is all done, what I would like to do then is concentrate on getting the life stories of, of these prisoners now. People like T-Bone. Um, I think T-Bone's story is just so inspirational as well. You know, and he's a real life, much larger, much larger than life character than me. Um, it takes so long to write a book. You know, this could go on for years and years and years and years, just, just in that mode. I think a lot of people, from what I'm finding is, I've, I, ages ago when someone asked me, I said, you know, I'd like to cross over into fiction and all this stuff. And from what I've learned now is that a lot of people are really interested more in, in real life stories. It's like it grips them that this has really happened to someone as opposed to it um, being made up. So I think that's um, it's created quite a good audience, you know, for what I'm doing and for potentially to get the books out for these other guys. And there's other prison writers as well that have got their own projects that are developing, developing their writing skills through my blog that I'm trying to cultivate. And I'd like for them to branch out just like I did into getting their own books um, of their own as well. Do you see yourself going then perhaps into documentary as well, rather than just books? Or um, you, you mean documentary style of writing? Yeah, or documentary production. I, get, I, get approached, approached I get approached by documentary people all the time. Because yeah, it lends itself. And they just come and go. And I don't know what all that's about, um, <laughs> to be honest. Learning the literary world and literary language was enough for me. That what <laughs> this mysterious thing that documentary producers do is beyond me. They just come and they follow all these ideas and then they just disappear. Yeah. Uh, from what you're saying, the rehabilitation motive is possibly something where you'll find a lot of success because there was your personality type. Yeah. That's probably. Yeah. I don't know how else to word it, but mm. I, I feel that's something that you probably even find really rewarding mm. and you'd be able to help achieve in. Mm. Yeah. With helping them do what you want to do. Yeah, I went to Wigan Prison uh, recently and did a talk to young offenders. And here's the problem: I wanted them to see, um, you know, how writing had was my redemption, how writing had saved me, saved me mentally and everything. And I went in and I told my story, you know, as a as a deterrent to try and put them off, you know, future getting involved in drugs and crime, that's not the future. And there were a few people in there who were aspiring artists and writers. And the lady who had me come in said, you know, these will ask you questions at the end. And what happened was, it's not cool to ask questions like that in front of all the mates. So they just got filed out and I wasn't able to speak to them at the kind of, you know, length and depth of these specific, cap specific mm -hmm. prisoners that had potential to go into the arts. Um, yeah, and do that. It was, it was such a shame. Fix the world, can you? But yeah, you know, I could influence them and they could think about what I was saying, but I couldn't bond with them as much as I wanted to because it would not have been cool for them to have done that in front of the other prisoners, which is such a shame. I think in the more mature prisons, the mature prisoners would be able to talk to me, you know, they've already established themselves like that, but it's a different mindset in the young, for the young offenders. Yeah.